Residents in South Texas are bracing for barrel, which could hit the Corpus Christi area as a Category 1 hurricane. Dr. Michael Brennan is the director of the National Hurricane Center. He's tracking the storm this Sunday morning. Doctor, welcome to the show. I want to start with when can parts of South Texas expect to start seeing impacts from barrel? Well, we're already seeing impacts in some locations. You can see on the radar this morning, you know, areas of deep South Texas are seeing some of the outer rain bands spread on shore now. We have a pretty big rain band here that's going to be moving into the uh, middle and upper Texas coast here in the next few hours. But we're really, you can see the center of barrel here is still about 220 miles southeast of Corpus Christi, moving off to the northwest at 12 miles per hour. So we're going to see those tropical storm conditions reach the coast uh, here in the mid-Texas coast in that hurricane warning area later today and this evening. And that's when the storm surge uh, levels are going to start to rise. And we're going to see that storm surge inundation occur as Barrel Center moves on shore overnight tonight and early Monday morning. How strong do we expect the storm to get? Well, we are expecting barrel to re-intensify to a hurricane. Right now, the maximum sustained winds are around 60 miles per hour. We're expecting that to go up by, you know, 20 to 25 miles per hour in the next 18 hours or so before barrel makes landfall. So we are expecting it to be a hurricane. Uh, you know, the big risks are going to be that storm surge inundation, the, the risk of hurricane force winds somewhere in that warning area where the eye wall moves on shore, and then flooding rainfall threat that's going to extend from the Texas coast all the way up into East Texas as we go from uh, Monday into Tuesday and even beyond. Our reporter, Allie Bradley, has been in Corpus Christi all morning long. She says a lot of Texans that she spoke to, they're not very worried. They're not planning up on boarding their homes or anything like that. What would you say to those Texans? Well, you have to be prepared, you know, especially if you're in the storm surge warning area or in the uh, hurricane warning area this morning. You want to be prepared as if you're going to experience those worst conditions, especially in this area from, say, Mesquite Bay up to San Luis Pass, up into Galveston Bay. We could see six feet of inundation above ground level in this area from that storm surge, and that's life-threatening inundation. So there are some evacuation orders in place. So if, the, if your local officials have told you you need to leave, please do so. And you do want to take those precautions if you're in that hurricane warning area from Baffin Bay up to San Luis Pass as well. Uh, you know, board up your windows, make sure you secure loose items outside. You're definitely going to want to be in a safe place no later than uh, late this afternoon or this evening and plan to shelter in place overnight tonight and into Monday. And we know Victoria, Texas is under those evacuations, so thank you for pointing that out. Barrel is the earliest Category yeah. 5 hurricane on record. I'm so curious here, what does that mean for the rest of the Atlantic hurricane season that potentially just started? Well, we are expecting a very busy Atlantic hurricane season, much above normal uh, levels of activity. Barrel is uh, certainly an indicator that there are favorable conditions across much of the Atlantic basin. We've got a lot of hurricane season left. You know, most of the activity takes place in August, September, October. So we've got a long way to go. Everybody in a hurricane prone area needs to be ready to take action if a hurricane threatens them. And it's really important to you know, have those hurricane supplies, have your evacuation plan or your preparedness plan in place long before a storm threatens you. Yeah, hope for the best, plan for the worst. Dr. Michael Brennan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.